Update 46 is going to make trial rosters even more complex than before, and for this reason I made a new roster tool for sheets that I'm sharing today with you. It has many functionalities that should make optimizing your group easier, and in this video I'll go through all of it explaining how to best use it. Once you open the link in the description below, you will be on the trash sheet. Similarly to this one, you will notice boss 1 to boss 5. Those all work pretty much the same, but you should start from the trash one, because all other sheets will copy base class, subclasses and nicknames from this one, to spare your time. From here, you will notice for each player there are slots for set 1, set 2, monster set, arena weapon, mythic and a final slot that can be either a one-piece set for DDs and healer or a two-piece weapon for tanks, which should be the most common setup. For all those sets and equipment, we have auxiliary data for autocomplete text, which you should use to ensure everything is typed correctly, making it possible to use other automated features that I'll show you in a bit. You will notice some checkboxes as well, like solo tank that turns off tank into a DPS role, drop down menus to select role for healers, like kite, group, solo and parse, drop down menu for healer CP, so you can pick a leavening or brink for each healer, DDs also have a drop down menu to select between support and parse, and a special checkbox to allow for double arena weapon setup, changing some labels in the sheets to better fit this situational build. Also, next to each player equipment and class information, you will see a tab for key skills. We have auxiliary data for each morphed skill in the game, so you can use the autocomplete drop down menu to avoid mistypes. On the left of each player, you have options to select Slayer stacks, Portal teams, and specifically to the trash sheet, Arcasis stacks. Make sure to type the encounter title on the top of your sheet. Lastly, you have a copy from Sheet Cell that you can copy and paste to Discord, packing all the information from that page together in a short and convenient format. All subclasses and sets will be abbreviated, as long as you have typed them correctly. Another cool feature that we have is the optimization checklist, which will read all the info you filled on each encounter and will provide you the most important buffs and support sets that you have available or that you're missing. For this feature to work, you should have all your sets and skills typed correctly, otherwise it won't be able to read it. The last feature that I made is the multi-trash sheet which is more focused to score push or trifecta groups that will run different sets for each trash fight, heavily optimizing their trash time. This is a more do-it-yourself space with only player names linked from the main trash sheet. There's up to 10 trash pack tabs and if you want to use it more extensively, just make copies of this sheet duplicating it and put it in between each boss encounter. On the top left, there is also a personal overview window that allows the user to select one player from the group to check all the trash fights in a compact single player format. I think that's it for what this roster tool can provide so far, but I'll make sure to keep the link in the description updated with all the possible future additions and fixes that I'm still about to do. What do you think about it? Would you use it as a raid leader? Is something missing that you would like to include here? Please let me know! On the top right corner of each encounter sheet, you can check my Discord username so you can contact me to report a bug or suggest a new feature. I put a lot of time in it, so I really hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like this video and share your thoughts on the comments down below. My name is Luna Cairo and thank you!